Hi guys, it has been really long time since I post anything on my channel. It must have been about three years already. Finally, I got something just worth showing you. For the last few years, I have been spending my time hugely improving my aquaponics nutrition system for fish tanks from the first version that is shown in this video. That first version actually worked quite well for the first three months. No chemical needed, water was crystal clear, fish were healthy and happy and multiplying, but then all the problems showed up. The pump and the expanded clay pebble got clogged, the plants got root bound, the roots get rotten in the clay pebble, and uh, trimming aquatic plants were a huge hassle. I was determined to keep all the pros and minimizing the cleaning parts of the aquaponics setup. After about 100 of designs and prototypes, uh, the system finally worked the way I wanted it to. It is at the point that I want to share my design with all fish keepers of all levels. I have created a company named Aquatic Circle. I also have been forcing myself to become an entrepreneur, to contact and work with manufacturer to produce my system at large scale. Now, my company is ready to launch the first line of uh, this filter design on Kickstarter. I hope to get your support to bring it to life. So please check out the link to my funding campaign on my company's website in the description below. Now, I will show you what this system could do. And you can see that water in all of my fish tanks are crystal clear. Fish are healthy and happy. The special thing about these fish tanks is that I haven't changed water in them since their first day, only topping off to make up for evaporation. On a few of them, it has been more than a year already. The plants in the aquaponics module have to keep the waste level in the water very low. I have tested this system with all type of fish, uh, from beginner level uh, like these wood tails, test wires, to very advanced ones. Uh, like this discus fish. Also with salt water, clownfish, tanks, anemones. With this system, the case for most types of fish become easy and very similar to each other. For example, the way I keep this hardy community tank is exactly the same as this delicate uh, discus tank. Here's how the complete system looks like. It includes two main components, an in-tank filter and an aquaponics module. This in-tank filter has three main components, a water pump connected to a base uh, and a mechanical filter just positioned on top of the base. You can remove this mechanical filter very easily just by sliding it sideways like this. In the base, you have a piece of corresponds filter that will serve as a biofilter media you know, for the bacteria to grow on that would have to convert ammonia into nitrite and nitrate that is not toxic to fish. This mechanical filter uh, can be customized very easily. In here, there are already two pieces of spawns, the coarse spawns on top and a fine spawns uh, at the bottom. You can customize this mechanical filter very easily by using different type of sponges. To attach it back on, it's very easy. You can just snap on like this. Uh, it will be connected through magnetic connection and cell position itself on top of the base. Let me explain how this filter works. The water pump will pull the water first through the coarse pumps here. Uh, that will trap all the large debris. All the fine debris just go through here will be trapped by the finer spawns at the bottom. Any tiny debris that can go through the fine spawns underneath here will go through the biofilter very easily and also the pump. So that way the biofilter and the pump will never get clogged. This is the aquaponics planting tank. Uh, it has the tank that position on top of a shelf. This shelf you can install it very easily on an edge of your tank. Next step, I will show you how we can convert your fish tank into an aquaponics system using this aquatic circle kit. Before installing the system, make sure that you have enough space at the back of the tank, about 3 inches. If you want to use the lid, just come with the tank 
Just place the lid on the tank like this. Take the shelf, make sure that you loosen the screw here to have enough space between the clamps uh, to go through the frame of the tank. You can either do it manually like this, or you can also use the head wrench, just come with the kit uh, and power tool. Make sure that you set your power tool on lower torque. Now slide the clamps here into the slot, just were designed for the hang on the back filter. Just like this. Hold it in place like this. Now you can remove the lid. Tighten the screw. If you do it manually, it would be a bit tedious, uh, but it would work. I prefer to use the power tool. And you can finish by hand. It is actually very sturdy on the back of the tank. Place the planting tank on top of the shelf. Now for a place that you like to install the in-tank filter, you can install it many different ways. Either at the bottom like this, on the side like this, or this side, like this. For now I just install it right here in this corner. Just press it down for the suction cup to attach to the glass. the wire on the side. Take the piece of PE tubing just come with the kit. Attach it to the inlet of the tank. Measure the length to the outlet of the pump. Around here. Trim the tubing. Connect the tube to the pump. You can arrange the wire of the pump around the PE tubing. And slide the wire through the space that you have underneath of the planting tank. Now it's really up to your preference. You can put some substrate in here. For now, I just put some sand at the bottom of the tank. You can easily hide this filter behind a rock or some decoration. For example, you can use this rock, just place it in front like this. Make sure that you still have plenty of space to reach the mechanical filter. Let's fill this tank up with some water. Try not to stir up the sand. I just spray the water on top of the filter. Make sure that you have the filter submerged in water before turning it on. To turn on the pump, you just connect it to the power adapter, just come with the kit. As you can see that the water is being pumped up to the tank. The level will raise and it will come down to the main tank through this outlet. Water come back to the tank through the outlet. You can change the water splash direction uh, in the almost direction you like. Just loosen this cap and turn this shaft. And remember to retighten it.
Continue to fill up the water to the level you like. Next step is to put some plant you like to grow up here. Put the lid on. Put the net pot that come with the kit into the slot. There are many types of plants that you can put in here. For example, here's a potash, spider plant, and mint. You just put the cutting in the net pot. To hold the cuttings down, you can use some expanded clay pebble just came with the kit. Now you will need some light to grow these plants. If you install your fish tank next to a well light window, you will need to add grow light on top. But if you have your fish tank uh, in a corner of a room or in the basement that there is no natural sunlight to reach your plants, you will need to buy this uh, LED grow light attachment. This will be an add-on to the system. It has a retractable light pole. Then you can extend the lamp. Uh, depending on the growth of the plant. You can attach this light pole on either side of the tank. Like this. Or on this side. You only need to use the two long screws just come with the kit. This is a 20 watt LED grow light full spectrum. It comes with a switch controller that have timer set up on it. Just slide it into the slot on top of the light pole. Fix it with the two short screws just come with the kit. The LED grow light also come with a power supply. Turn it on. It's very bright. With the controller, you can adjust the light intensity. You can also set the timer. I will set about 12 hours per day. Now this thing is ready for fish. Depending on the type of fish that you like to raise, uh, you can install a heater or not, it's really up to you. I will raise some moly fish in this tank, so I will put a heater and set it up to about 79 Fahrenheit. While the water is warming up in this tank, I will run to the fish store and grab some fish. It has been about a week since I set up this system and I haven't put fish in. The reason is just I went to the local fish store last week and they didn't have moly. Uh, and I only want moly for the reason it just uh, I later on I want to convert this fish tank into a reef tank. I went back to the fish store today and I actually were able to get some moly fish. I just want to let them in here to acclimate for about 20 to 30 minutes. It has been about 30 minutes, so let's put them in. One fun fact about the moly fish is that they can live either in fresh water or salt water. You only need to acclimate them uh, slowly. I will do that uh, later uh, and I will show you how to do it. I will change the light from this side to this side so I can take better time lapse videos of the growth of the plants. I also added cutting of basil and a flower uh, in patience. It has been about 10 days since I put fish in this tank. Everything in the tank looks pretty much the same. 
the water level does get a bit lower due to evaporation. Within just a few days, I already got a newborn molly fish. I knew that they wouldn't give many babies in this tank. Uh, I just didn't expect for it to happen so early. In the aquaponics tank, the plants are very much different. Let's see how much they have changed. All this plant growth uh, is the main engine behind the clean, clear water and healthy fish. Again, I really hope to get your support to launch this system onto the market.